Hello and welcome to Jewelry Rescue. If you are new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Look guys, I have an actual jewellery jar. It's a tiny one. I've never seen one this small. We don't really get these in the UK. I've never seen jewellery in a jar like this, only in the American video. So I'm really excited to open that one. That was £3 from a Deborah store. So we'll see if there's any treasure inside. I also have one, two, three, four small customer donations these are local ones that have come into my retailers things that i can um, restore or recycle and upcycle into new things to sell in my online and my retail stores if you are new here please do check out the channel below hit the subscribe button and the bell let's see what we've got let's go for the jar first this is so exciting they did actually have i think three of these in the shop but um the others I didn't look like they had anything interesting in them this one at least I could see some beads that I was happy to reuse and um, for three pounds I thought it would be a bit of fun for us to open so this is a bit of plastic fantastic vintage probably 80s and it's a really pretty coral color I don't know if that's coming across on the camera I won't cut that one up because Someone will like it as it is. Some pink faux pearls, again, plastic ones. This has got some nice beads on it. Nice heavy metal ones. No branding, it's just a high street one. I think I will cut that one up and I'll use those ones particularly I really like. So I'll use those on stretchy bracelets. We've got one with hanging bits, again, plastic, are those glass? Oh no, they are glass. They're quite nice. I might take them off though and put them on something else. Stretchy, that one will be cut up for the children's workshops. Just cheapy ones. Ah, oh, now this one looks like one of my upcycle bracelets uh, looks like the workshop ones that we do because it's got a variety of different beads on these are probably older ones these feel more like 1980s beads whereas these ones are more modern so that's quite fun i'll cut that up i think and i'll particularly reuse those ones myself and then these will go into the workshops that's quite fun this was the one that intrigued me Is there something on there? Let's have a look. I it doesn't look like silver. Let's just check it with the magnet. The chain. Yeah, the chain's magnetic, but the clasp isn't. Let me just see if that's a maker on the charm on the clasp there. So there's a 95 stamped on the clasp itself. The chain is not silver. I wonder if this is an artisan piece. It's pretty, isn't it? I like all of these flowers. Those are glass beads. And then I was going to say that's a pearl, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a silver bead to look like a pearl. A pretty Millefiori one on there. There's a nice selection of beads on there. Quite like that one. I think that's my three pounds back. This is a cute gold tone vintage chain. Somebody will like that one. I might go into one of the vintage retailers. And some vintage milk glass. Those are really nice actually. And a plastic one at the bottom. And we have a free glass for a lovely ice cream sundae or perhaps a prawn cocktail or something. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? So I've now got four donations which have come in from customers. So these have gone, I think, into my shops. Well, no, a couple of them have come directly to me, actually. Um, I don't know what's inside. I've got four small bags to go through. Panel bracelet that has lost... I was going to say lost it. it has lost its stretch, but it's also a little bit broken. These are quite fun, though. They might make nice earrings. That one will be upcycled. 
for this lovely lamp work glass bead that will probably be a dangle on a bracelet I like that one there's a couple of costume earrings here as well what's in this little bag whoops drop something there these look like steel and I'm guessing it was a necklace to match the earrings and it's lost a few of its dangles so I'll use those as charms those earrings are pretty though aren't they I think we'll keep those ones as is and then reuse the bits there Wow, look at the colours on this one. It's just a bit of costume, but it's fun, isn't it? I like that one. We've got a stretchy that I can reuse the beads on. And that's a bit of fun costume, but it's lost its plating. That will probably go into a mixed bag. As will this sparkler. These are nice glass faux pearls. That looks like a silver, yeah, silver clasp. But they are faux pearls, not real pearls. So I might reuse the bits on that. I don't know. What do you think? Should we keep it as it is or should we upcycle it? Let me know what you think. This is a panel bracelet which I've had in before actually. So that could be restrung onto new elastic or we could use the bits for something else. There's a couple more of these stretchies. And another stretchy here. broken necklace that could be repaired but I think I'll probably more likely reuse the beads and the chain for something else this stretchy has lost its plating or its coating on the beads but I'll reuse these ones in between these colorful ones this looks like it was an earring or a pendant but it's got nothing attached to it save those bits another bit of that one this is a fun one I've had earrings in very similar to this before with the sort of distressed metal on them I think that I will probably make those into earrings they're quite nice Mary Quant style flowers aren't they yeah, I think we'll turn that one into earrings. Ah, there's the other lampwork bead. And we've got a triple bangle. That one will go into a mystery bag as well. This is pretty. That would go with the necklace. It's got tiger's eye and freshwater pearls but it is coming apart so I think that one does need cutting up as well and we'll save all the bits on that one there's a pair of pretty earrings those ones can go onto new hooks ooh look at this that's gorgeous that looks like I don't know what this metal is called. I mention it often, so I need to look it up. It's a, like a thin sheet metal. It was really popular in the 90s on things. And it looked it looked quite a lot like silver, but a bit shinier. And we've got abalone shell. I love that. Oh, here's the other one. I will clean those up. And somebody will like those, I'm sure. And there's a gold stone necklace here. Now, goldstone is actually glass. It's not a gemstone. But it's still very popular. I'm not that keen on the style with the sparkles. I think this would look nicer if we took it off and made it into a dangle or a 
pendant so I think I will do that with that one and there's a pair of matching earrings there we'll probably do the same with those more panels off that bracelet and the other one of those that we found before these are pretty they look like they just need a really good clean and they could go onto new hooks or be used as dangles and those ones I think I'll probably just reuse those beads actually they're quite cute aren't they I think they'll be used for something else leaf necklace that's quite a pretty one I do like to make leaf earrings so I might upcycle that one as well and then there's some faux pearls and some black glass beads that looks like a Marks and Spencers yes it is a Marks and Spencers <laughs> lots of bits to reuse there let's get the next bag out Ah, this is an interesting one. So these are from my lovely friend who I go thrifting with and she went charity shopping without me. Can you believe it? Um, one week and she found some really cool things and she very kindly bought them to donate to the business. So the first one is this ring, which I do wonder whether that might be an upcycle from this lovely piece of fabric in there. Isn't that cool? I can't remember how much she said she paid for these, but it probably would have been a couple of pounds each. Micro mosaic ring. Isn't that lovely? That one might go into a whatnot show. And then these really cool bangles that have got a crystal on top. So this one has been dyed blue and this one gold. Aren't they fun? Thank you for those, my lovely friend. And then we've got two more little bags. These ones actually came from the school mums. We just had a little basket out in reception at school because we were collecting clothing. And I said, if anybody had any jewellery to recycle, I would give a little donation to the school PTA charity. So these are bits that came in through there. Isn't that a lovely statement necklace? That one is accessorise. So we'll have to think about what to do with that. It seems a shame to cut that out because it's actually a really nice one. Oh, do you remember these? These were everywhere, weren't they? I think it was it Swarovski that did the original one. I can't remember now. Little crystals inside it. Perhaps I might cut it open and save the crystals for sticking into brooches and things that are missing them. That could be quite a nice idea. This one is freshwater pearls with seed beads and magnetic clasp, that's quite a nice one. So in here we've got what probably was a pendant, not silver, it's a costume one quite sweet that can go onto a new chain and this faux pearl and flowers so I think I probably will use the bits from that one what does it say on there envy that's a high street one isn't it lovely okay one more bag this one I've been quite excited to open so I did some repairs for a customer and when she collected them she very kindly gave me these Wow, this has just lost its stretch here. What is this stone called? I can't remember. It looks like terracotta, it's that kind of colour. It's got these amazing lines in it. That's lovely. So I will restring that one, bring it back to its former glory. These ones I think are agates ah, and some lovely turquoise. That's a really nice barrel clasp. Let's see if there's any marks on it. I'm not seeing any markings, but it does need a polish up. It, it looks like silver to me there. These are probably plated, but I think the clasp is silver. 
That's a lovely one. And then last but not least, look at all these gorgeous freshwater pearls. Look at those. They are stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They've all been hand knotted. It's not sort of on a high quality string or anything, but the pearls are lovely. So what do we think? Shall I make that into some gorgeous bracelets and earrings? Shout at me in the comments. What did you think? What was your favourite? Please, please do let me know in the comments. Go and watch another video and hit the subscribe if you haven't already and the bell and the like and all those lovely things. And if you haven't looked at the membership option as well, go and check that out too. I will be live sailing over on Whatnot again, so do check out the links in the description. Get your £10 free credit for that too. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.